Senkaisen. Here we are at the solar plexus and we have reached a real powerhouse, the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a thin parachute shaped muscle that separates the heart and lungs from the stomach. It lines the lower six ribs of the rib cage and the last six vertebrae of the thoracic spine. As singers, we often hear the term breathe into your back, and this is why because the diaphragm and the lungs are so crucially linked to the rib cage and the spine. So if we think of lengthening the spine and breathing into it, we're already going some way to achieving the low, wide breath so critical for singing and allowing once again the diaphragm to do its thing unimpeded. When we inhale, the center of the diaphragm tightens, flattens and moves down, pulling air into the lungs. And when we exhale, the diaphragm relaxes, air passes out of the lungs and the stomach flattens. There are, of course, other muscles which play their part in the process of breath. The spine, the intercostal muscles, the sternocleidomastoid muscles and the scalenes to name a few. But the diaphragm, you could say, is the big one. Well, this is very useful knowledge, but what does it mean to us as singers? and how do we utilize it? I would say the first thing we need to do is to learn how to relax. <laughs> Humans go through their lives often coping with difficulties by tensing. As I said before, this tension can manifest all over the place, but the stomach definitely vies for first position. We are taught that we must try harder, that we must win if possible, and that through effort we succeed. This can be true in certain contexts, but not in engaging to sing and singing at large. As Lamberti said, energy must not become effort. In singing, as you're probably starting to gather, we need to mobilize only what is useful. Ironically, when we think of the voice, we naturally think specifically of the voice box or the larynx, and our subconscious mind loves to say, that's where my voice is, I'll tense it, I'll try. This is very admirable. We want to do well, so we do the thing that we've been taught to do. How ironic that pushing or tensing this place is the very thing that can cause us trouble. But more about that later, and back to the diaphragm. Put simply, if we allow it to move in the way it is naturally designed to, the breath can spring into the body and by virtue of this we can find buoyancy in the sound and feel a confident trust in our air and our airflow. Sinkaisen! Welcome to lesson three, Manipura, the third chakra which rests just over the solar plexus. This chakra is yellow in colour and remember to picture this idea of not just Oh right, the chakra's yellow, but really thinking of that circle that wakens up, running from its starting point right at the centre of the spine and spins all the way around us. Now already we've opened up the base chakra, the second chakra, and this is the third chakra. All these circles are going to awaken the room for us, so it's easy just to plop the voice into it. And that's what we want, isn't it? We don't want to be agitated. We want to be still, centred, and then from there we can truly, as I've mentioned before, we can truly communicate and relax into the truth of our music, the truth of our song. So this point is also an important one to remind us that everything is tied together, everything is related. So for example, the diaphragm is related via to the throat, to the neck, via the phrenic nerve. What's it the scientists say? Two, three, four, and five keeps the diaphragm alive. And they're talking about the vertebra in the neck, in the, in the cervical spine. So this is another good reason to relax the neck, relax the throat. But we're gonna go back to that later. For now, we're gonna return back down to the diaphragm. And this idea of movement, of breath, of the key muscle for respiration. So if you put your hands just below your ribcage, 
and notice the in and out, the movement of the stomach. This is the viscera, everything else moving because the diaphragm is bowing down and up, down, getting fatter, up, getting thinner, over and over again for the entirety of our lives and it knows how to do it. So this